Welcome back to Sailor Moto TV. Today, I'm very, very excited because I ordered a new seat for Maximus, our 2019 street buff that we're building. And as a matter of fact, I got this seat from Get Lower Cycles about a month and a half ago. And my fault, I had ordered the wrong one. So I contacted them. They were super amazing on the phone, super helpful. If you guys have ever bought anything from them, you guys know that their customer service is second to none. And we got the other seat sent back. We received the new seat and we're going to be replacing this Saddleman step up in brown with the rolls for the new seat. I'll show you guys what the seat is and uh let's get to it it's an easy swap all right so here's maximus our 2019 uh harley davidson street bob it's a 107 nothing done there for now we have done a few things to it already the one of the latest uh was the gpr stabilizer now obviously we have more to come but if you guys have been following the channel you know that i have been running this uh, brown tuck and roll saddleman step up for a minute now. I love the seat. Uh, when I got this seat, I had a different vision for the color scheme of some things. And we're gonna change that up a bit now. So I do love this seat. I am not changing it because I don't like it. Uh, that is definitely not the case. So if you guys have been following the channel already, you know that I've been using the trash and supply saddlebags here. Uh, however, stay tuned because there's changes coming here too. I do have them out of the way for now so we can get a good look at the seat that we have on now. And then we're gonna get the new seat on. You guys already saw the thumbnail, so you already know that we are sticking to saddlemen on this bike and we are comparing this to the new seat, which is the, yep, as you also saw in the thumbnail, the SDC San Diego Customs Saddleman Pro with the backrest and we have it in black. Let's unwrap all this stuff and show you a better look at the new seat. So as we unwrap it, we have the beautiful seat from Saddleman, the backrest, which I'll show you here in a minute. And then we have the instructions and we have the stickers, which I know there's a lot of joking around about stickers in the car motorcycle community, but we all know that every time we spend a good amount of money on a good piece of kit, a good piece of gear or part for the motorcycle, and it doesn't come with stickers, we all get sad. So. It's a good day, we have some stickers. Now the backrest goes up here and this cover is just Velcro so that if you're not using the backrest, you can cover the top portion here. That's the opening for it. I'll show you here in a minute. And as you guys can see, we got it in the diamond pattern with the black on black. So let's put this backrest on and see what it looks like. Well, there it is. That is the backrest. Now, this backrest has the bracket that goes in here and it has three little pinholes and then this little pin goes through them in case that you want to run this bracket higher uh, in three different levels. So, and that is to keep your, push your lower back forward to keep you, uh, push you forward on the motorcycle if you're going to do a little bit of different riding where you need to stay up uh, while you're getting on the throttle uh, a little harder or whatnot. So I have the pin out for now and I have it all the way down. That's what you guys are seeing there. So you guys can see here's the Velcro in case you guys wanna remove the backrest for any reason, you put your Velcro patch up here and cover the little opening. Now the install of a seat is the most basic and simple thing you can do. Uh, if you guys have a Harley or you switch your seat on your Harley, or if you haven't, well, here it is, it's very simple. So 
we remove the screw that holds the seat back that holds the seat down in the back right here here it is i already had to loosen up i usually put a little bit of loctite there i do have to get a better lock they do sell these uh, locks with a specific star key or allen key or whatever to make it a little harder for somebody to just walk away with your seat i have to do that but for now we have that now it's just loose now we just lift it from the back pull it back a little bit and then it comes off from the bracket over right here in the front and that's the bracket that you see here on the bottom get the seat off and then the new seat will go into the front bracket obviously it's just like the last one and the bolt will go in the back and that's it you just gotta make sure that it's seating uh right that it's all the way forward and that the bracket is uh holding here so your seat doesn't come off from the front and that is secure in the back and you will not be flying off your motorcycle as you guys can see here we are rocking the rwd rs1 monoshock you look at it on this side it does have the oil line right here that leads to the adjustment canister on the swing arm this extra height in the back makes such a difference and so far i'm loving this rear suspension but back to the seat now if you guys uh have a seat already you know this if you don't here's a quick tip obviously the instructions will show you this but this is the bracket with the where the bolt holds it down on the back as you can see you have to loosen this uh allen bolt out and switch this bracket 180 degrees and then put it back on i usually put a little drop of loctite there too so that now you have the bracket exposed to where the bolt goes and here it is holy shit, man i've been waiting for this moment yep it is matching way better i think that the brown step up was uh giving me uh, more of a classic uh feel um and this one gives it a little more of a modern feel because of the different type of seat with the backrest here and that is all black and then the different pattern stitching for sure uh, I think the talk and roll is a little more uh, classic look. Again, uh, it's just a different uh, look. It's the same seat. Uh, well, I know this one is a bit different, I believe. Uh, I know the step up, uh, you have more of a 90 degree here. This one is more rounded. Uh, I'm gonna take the bike out and I will tell you what it feels like because I don't know what the hell it feels like yet. All right, so let's get Maximus on the road and we're going to finally check out this new seat, the Salomon San Diego Customs Pro. All right, so the moment that I throw my leg over the bike for the first time with the new Salomon Pro on, it's an immediate uh, huge difference from the step up to the SDC Pro. As I mentioned before, your step up is more of a 90 degree angle on the on your lower back where you sit. And I love it, I, I still love it, uh, but when you compare it to this one, at least for me, this one feels a whole lot better especially on turns or even going straight uh, it's more uh, conforming or shaped to the back of your lower back your hips your butt uh, i feel like it holds me in a little better yet even more comfortable uh, this seat also has a little bit of extra padding as well for the passenger as well if you ever ride uh, two up with anybody else I myself take my daughters out for a short ride uh, here and there and uh, so far loving this seat. The backrest on your lower back provides an immense amount of support 
and even more comfort and you definitely feel like you are not going anywhere on this seat. Anyways, thank you guys for coming back to the channel and watching the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll keep the videos coming for Maximus as we keep, continue to put parts on them. And uh, this seat is definitely uh, one of the biggest bangs for bucks, in my opinion, because the last settlement was amazing. But this one is definitely, uh, I understand, let's just say, why the price difference is there between the Step Up and the Pro, in my opinion. So, see you guys on the next one, and uh, ride safe.